30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes. minutes. To Jamie. To Jamie. And his new bride. Thank you. All right. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Today is my wedding. And honestly, I don't want to say I'm starting to get cold feet, but I'm really nervous. I don't know what she's going to look like. I don't know what she's going to be like. It's definitely risky to get married at first sight. But you know, we got this. We're going to do this together. And this is going to be like one hell of a ride. Dad, text me if I need to run. <laughs> You're about to get married. And so my advice to you is to be kind and patient. And he's going to have to learn how to handle Elizabeth and, and your strong-willed personality. Me and my dad are very, very similar. Our souls are just connected. And now I'm going to have somebody else coming in. And so it's just going to be really nice to have two men that love me just as much. And um, they care about me in two totally different ways. You were <laughs> my first love, and you'll be my last. <laughs> Oh, man. Ugh. I'm about to marry a stranger. I have no idea who this is, and I am nervous as hell right now. Ready? Here we go. We're going to hold on to each other, OK? I'm going to need it. Yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I am here for you, son. I am here. I mean, it's definitely risky to get married at first sight. This could absolutely blow up in my face and just be completely awful. Pull it together. OK. Pull it together. You got it. Whoa, son. Sorry. <laughs> you are usually my rock. <laughs> Not today. Not today. I'm holding you, OK? I love you. Love you, too. Thank you. Whoa. Got this. Let's go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> All right, let's do this. because I'm ready to open my life up. But now that I'm here, stomach's in my throat. I feel like I'm just gonna have a panic attack. Like, I hope I don't hate this dude. You can run now. It's not too late. You ready? Yeah. OK. Let's do it. Please rise. Last chance. I'm so nervous. I just can't stop laughing, and I can't control myself. Last chance. Chardonnay. Oh we my can God. run. We can run now. No, this is so great. <laughs> yes. This is so insane. Oh my God. First, I'm Ronnie. Jamie. Pleasure to meet you, Jamie. It's a it's Jamie. A, it's a Jamie. <laughs> We, I don't have, know the joke. I don't know yeah, the joke. All, all of my other children's spouse starts with a J, so oh, you'll wow, fit it's right a in. Name. Yeah. It's a J name. <laughs> nice. Very good. Hi. I'm gonna share Hi. her, Elizabeth. <laughs> I'm your um, new wife. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> is this how this goes? <laughs> yeah, I think this is how it goes. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just a little nervous. What's your name? What's your name? Right. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh. Nice. All right. Nice. <laughs> this is so nice to meet you too. <laughs> OK, I'm ready. All right, everyone may be seated. Well, Jamie, Elizabeth's family and friends would like you to know that she is a self-proclaimed modern Southern belle. Oh. 
Yes. Not only is Elizabeth loving and compassionate, she's extremely bubbly. <laughs> Elizabeth works magic in the kitchen. However, she has a phobia when it comes to certain condiments, and the family is gonna leave it to you to discover those on your own. Okay. It's a weird thing. Mayonnaise. How did you know? People hate mayonnaise. Oh, it's it more is. than just that, though. Okay. <laughs> that was quick, all right. Elizabeth, Jamie's family and friends would like you to know that he is truly a Southern gentleman, and he will treat you like a lady. Okay, good. They ask you to keep it interesting, challenge him, and do not be afraid to call him out when he's not upholding his end of the deal. He's done very well for himself and achieved a lot professionally, and now he's ready to be successful in marriage to you. Me too! All right. Yes! It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamie and Elizabeth, you've written your own vows, so Jamie? All right, so to my wife, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being you, like, thank you for being here. I mean, it takes a lot, right? Yeah. You don't know this yet, but my life has been full of twists and turns. However, I'm thankful for each one of those twists and turns because it's led us to be right here today. So with that, I promise to never take a single day we have together for granted, to honor and cherish the commitment that we're making today, even when it's not easy. I also promise to never stop both growing with you and growing our marriage. Let's start this journey together. It's gonna be a great ride. Oh, That's good. That was good enough. Good enough? That, that was good enough. Okay. To my husband, you may not know me, and I definitely may not know you, but I do know this about us. We're absolutely crazy because we're both standing here right now, so I know we have that in common. But I do want you to know this, that if I lie, it will only be lying in your arms, and if I make you cry, it's only from laughing so hard, and if I steal from you, it's only your heart, I promise. I will be patient with you, I will be understanding, and I promise I'll be open to your quirky habits. But the most important promise of all is that I commit to you. Awesome. It's very short, sweet. To the point, I like yeah. it. Jamie, if you would take Elizabeth's left hand and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I wed you, Jamie. I wed you, Elizabeth. For today. Tomorrow. And for all of the years to come. All the years. Mm -hmm. This word is a sign of my commitment. And a notice to the entire world. I'm your husband. That I am your wife. Okay, all the fits. Oh no. This okay, we're good. There it is. <laughs> oh, that fits. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, cool. Yes. And now, by the authority vested in me, I pronounce you are married. Oh my God. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce for the good. first time in the I state of North Carolina, as husband and as wife, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson. Finally meet my husband. It feels like a million bricks are off my chest. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I know, right? I'm really happy so far. I'm just still trying to take it all in. OK. Would you like some champagne? I would love some champagne. <laughs> Woo! What do you do? I'm in sales and marketing. What's your last name? Vice. OK. You know what my last name is. Thompson. That's right. I'm a Thompson. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. OK. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, let's cheers. Cheers to our, us. Cheers to our marriage. I know, right? Oh, you got to. I'm like shaking right now. Yeah. I'm taking this Get off. Rid of I'm sorry. It's really annoying me. You want to sit? Um, or are you good standing? I'm good standing All right, for right we're now. Gonna, we're so good standing. It's like, you know, two strangers meeting for the first time and just got married. They just got married. I'm just like really nervous right now. Yeah. I was the flame and you were the spark. We burned together like shooting stars. I'm just very fast paced, so, and so. Fast paced, out. Uh, I have a lot of energy. That's good. Yeah. Energy's good. Vibe's good. Energy's good. Yeah, I have a lot of energy, and you'll see that come out. And then you'll know when I'm just like down and crashing, and it's, she's either up or she's down. One or two. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. That's perfect. Go big, go home. Hopefully, we'll be up at the same time and down uh, at the yeah, same time. Yeah, that may be a challenge, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> My wife is gorgeous. I am super attracted to her. You get that sense that she's scared, she's nervous, she's unsure too, but 
She's wanting to take this ride. She wants to take this adventure, and I like that. Um, so, like, what do you hate? Like, in life, what's your pet peeves? Um, are you punctual? I like to think I am. My dad disagrees, oh, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm, when it comes... Okay. To, I'd, I'd like to say I'm pretty punctual. Yeah. We'll work on that. Okay. okay. Cool. Cheers to that. <laughs> I think my wife is gorgeous. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen tonight. Like, part of me is like crazy attracted to her and wants to progress forward. And part of me is also like, maybe we should just get to know each other first. Thank you. You're welcome. I actually am a very sexual person, so honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if something happened between us. Oh, wow, my vows came out of my boot. Good girl. Well, yeah, there's nothing else. I can't. She's half naked. Damn, my wife's hot. <laughs> I took my dress off because I'm actually more comfortable naked, but I think you liked it. I did. Oh. I got you a mask. You just lay here, just lay and relax, just be chill. I'm just letting you know that if you put this on my face, you are guaranteed you have to spa night with me tonight. And, and we are wearing masks together. Isn't that so good? <laughs> oh, boy. I think I'm going to wait on mine. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> Brought you something. Oh, wow. I did. I listened. Elizabeth and I got in a fight. I left, and I'm feeling pretty down right now. I miss her a lot, and there's no way I'm giving up on this marriage. Well, that is such a great color on you. But at the same time, sometimes I feel like she doesn't really take this marriage seriously. And I feel like it's it's holding us back from reaching a deeper level. So I just want to get everything out on the table. So here's the deal. You ready? You look really scared. I am really scared. I listened to you when you said that you wanted me to bring you flowers. So I would like you to listen to me for a minute. Okay. We're just having some heavy disagreements this week. So I want to kind of talk about it. I want resolution, but I also want to understand her better. And I want to not have these same type of issues in the future. Are you breaking up with me? Mm hmm Is that cool? If you're going to do that, I'd rather you just rip the bandaid off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me chug this really quick. All right, so what do you want to talk about? I got a lot of different things. But I don't want to just exist with you. Like, I want to get to know you. You make a lot of jokes. Like, do you still want to be with me? Do you think I'm attractive? Are you just going to break up with me one day? Like, that doesn't make me feel good because I know there's also some truth to it. And it hurts. Like, I tell you how attracted I am. I tell you, like, I'm in this marriage. This is not, like, a joke to me. And it's like, if I had to come here and, like, try to connect with somebody that just keeps me at arm's distance, it's not what I want. I'm still oh, talking. Oh, dude. Oh, OK. What's the problem? Nothing. Keep coming, Jamie. I'm being serious. I need you to be real right now. I'm sorry. I can only sit here and take you ruining my evenings for so long. My anxiety is literally up to here at this point because I cannot understand what the f you want from me. So it's either you get on the positivity train or stop bringing me down because I'm so sick of it, Jamie. I can't take it anymore. This cannot be my real life. I literally am feeling like about myself. Um, I feel like I've been very beaten down when it comes to my emotions and I've got nothing left to give him at this point. Like, why can't you just come home and just have a good afternoon? What do you want, Elizabeth? I want you to be happy with me. I just want you That's to That's why be... I wanted to sit down and talk to you, because I wanted to talk about things that would it's maybe. It's always to sit down and talk. It's always a talk, 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 talk. Get over yourself. Do you not have anything else better to do but to sit here and break down our relationship? Thought we were going to have a really great day, but you've done turned it into a therapy session. Just take some accountability. For <laughs> once in my entire time of knowing you, just own something. I am owning it. This isn't a joke. Jamie, are you tired of doing this? Tired of going like the circle of emotions? I am tired. I really try. 
and I try to get to know you, when I try to be intimate with you, there's a lot of excuses that come up. And... What? I'm still talking. We do have a lot of sex, Jamie. We do. I've had sex like four times, five times max. Are you kidding me? I don't feel like I spend much more than that, though. No. Are you like a sexaholic? We had sex not... like at least once a day. Maybe I should ask Dr. Pepper what a healthy amount of sex is in a week and make yeah, we'll sure you get enough sex. Because I'm just a sex machine. That's what I feel like to you. I'll make sure I f your d a lot of amount of times during the week. Oh, thank you. That'd be nice. Yeah, because you romance me so hard. This is the first time you've ever brought me flowers or anything. Not even like a back massage, nothing. You don't initiate anything. You just like do basic like Caucasian sex. And it's just like bam, bam, done. That's it. Just forget this. Okay. I'm not putting on this. OK, cool. Why is it so hard for you to say Jamie, you're sorry? I don't know what I'm supposed to be sorry about. I need to go. I'm not going to sit here and put up with this Oh my god, please go. I, I had to get my cat and my stuff, okay, so I can just go. Just go, Jamie. Just go. You are so sensitive sometimes. And you always come home in a ass mood. Always leaving, always avoiding. That's what you always do. What's different from tonight? Shocker. Elizabeth and I had a fight a few days ago, and right now I'm questioning the marriage. But Dr. Viviana is coming over, and the timing could not be better. Hopefully, she will apologize for the way she acted in front of the other couples, because I'm not going to be a part of a marriage where that's OK to act like that. I can't, just, you can reprimand me. I don't have anything to say back right now. You can act like you don't care. That's fine. It's much easier to not care than actually care and you know talk about what happened and actually show some remorse. I need to reserve my energy for Dr. Viviana, too. So if you have anything else to just Yeah, I got, a, I got a lot of things to say. And oh I'm going to continue boy. discussing Beat them. Beat me down even more. I'm a horrible person. Please keep going. You and I can get mad at each other behind closed doors. It's a whole other ball game when you ruin everybody else's day that's within earshot of you. You embarrass our marriage. You embarrass me personally. You certainly embarrassed yourself. You embarrassed the other couples. You embarrassed everybody. When you told me to shut up in front of everyone, I was embarrassed. I felt stupid. And everyone around you think that that's OK and no one even says anything. Yeah, you're going to ruin everyone. Okay. Was OK. Then Your why mom? did anyone take up for me? Jamie, damn it. Why didn't anybody take up for me then? I'm so sick of this. so sick of this. Go away, then. Go away. Are you happy? No. Let me guess. You still have more to, like, rip me apart about, don't you? You still have more issues with me. Then go away. You've embarrassed me in front of everyone. You've made me look stupid in front of everyone. So yeah, I'm going to react. I'm going to defend myself. Yeah, I have days where I snap, and you do too, but you don't do that to people. So yeah, Jamie, you know what? I did overreact, and I was a bitch. You're right I was. And I own it 110%. I own that and You're an ass of yourself. I know. I don't need you to sit here and point a finger at me like this, like you do all the time. I'm under a magnifying glass with you. Why would you I'm not so tired. Have... Let me finish. I haven't asked you to speak yet. And you I asked ask. me what I want, so I'm going to tell you. I didn't need to be no. asked No, stop. This is a relationship. Stop. Stop. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm not talking to anyone today. Viviana just arrived, and Beth is very standoffish. She doesn't want to talk to anybody. Jamie, are you open to talking? Sure. Frankly, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I think that we should respect the experts, the fact that they're taking time to be here and try to help us out, and they actually care. Is this how things normally are? It's very much like a roller coaster. Like, we're either up here on cloud nine, or we're calling the marriage off, one of the two. So what uh, happened? I was really upset at the way she acted while we were at the racetrack, and that's when I told her, like, you've got to shut up. I feel like I'm at home. I grew up First around thing we're this. we're going to do is shut up and listen. Watch, watch the safety video. Um, shut up for five minutes. What's I literally story? can never say anything without him just getting so pissed. This has gone into a really negative, unhealthy place. Yeah. 
But in all fairness to Elizabeth, I would love for her to be a part of this. I don't want to feel like we're talking about how on your back. Right, right. Um, if you would be willing to invite her over. OK. So. Yeah, I'll ask her. Can you try that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to just come out here? I don't want to get, I don't want to be beaten down today. You don't, so you're not going to be beaten down. Would you, you don't even have to say anything. Elizabeth, this is not about beating you down, I promise you. I want to help you be able to get the message across, but without it being such a volatile situation. I don't know how much help it'll be, because I don't know how receptive I am today, but to I'll sit here. You don't, you don't have even have to future. say a word. OK, I'll just sit here. Like, But the minute like y'all start going and saying, well, you need to fix this, and you did this, and you did that yesterday, bitch, I just knows what I did yesterday. You didn't just call me a bitch, did you? No, I was just, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh, sorry. Okay. It's like, it's like term, like, you know, like okay. straight term. Like, it's just, I was there. I know what I did. Elizabeth and Jamie have been on a roller coaster of emotions ever since marrying as strangers six weeks ago. They need to remember that even though you may love each other, you can't read your partner's mind. So it's important that they take a time out to really sit back and learn what it is that they're each really trying to say so they can learn from these misunderstandings because they can cause hurt, anger, and resentment. So what I'd like to do is look at communication patterns. And I think that could be the real key to getting off of this roller coaster. OK, so let's start with this. So I think I'm going to go home. If you leave, then we're done. Like, no, we're not. Yeah, we are. There's no, like, done police here. I'm the done police. It's funny how you went a little crazy yeah. after I I didn't said, go a little crazy. I said that makes... sex anymore. My it's exact words to you, funny. I said, that makes me feel kind of pushed away and rejected. And I said, it's going to be hard to sleep in the bed next to you knowing that you're intentionally holding me off. Don't bother me anymore tonight. So, initial thoughts. So Why are you done. smiling? Are you proud of that? No, I was laughing at your done police. I am the done police. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Why even throw out the D word? We do that to each other. It's because we just want to hear each other say, no, I want you. So y'all use that as a way to reassure one another. It's a tool. It's like a defense mechanism. Did you know that that's what was going on? No, I didn't know that. So. Can y'all name at least one way that you would each be able to receive reassurance so that when you're looking for reassurance, you don't go to, well, let's throw away the marriage and see what they think. My reassurance to Jamie would be if we were in an argument and I look at you and I say, I don't want this. It doesn't mean that I don't want this marriage. It means I don't want this argument. And that's a really big reassurance, saying that I'm trying to back away from the drama. That's a great idea. What's something else maybe that you could do, a sign for her, you're just looking for reassurance and you're not trying to leave the marriage. You know, I hate going back to sex and like talking about sex and then the actions don't really follow through. Just because we're pumping the brakes on sex doesn't mean that we're pumping the brakes on our entire relationship. That's not what we want. I just want to back it up and learn how to communicate without just using sex. What does sex mean to you? I don't know. It means like being connected to somebody and having like a deeper, special bond that you just don't have with other people. OK. When she says, hey, I think we need a few days without like having intercourse, you go into this, uh-oh. What's happening? Is she going to leave me? What's going on? Is she? Is this the beginning of the end? It's all about feeling insecure. It's all about needing that reassurance. You're right. Sexuality is something that can really bond people. So it's sex and connection. It's sex and healthy communication. It's sex and quality time. It's all of those things. I don't hear her saying, I don't want sex with him. It's more like, let's have more things that we're focusing on and build and grow. And I think that could be a really great way to then also have more assurance and, and get that reassurance in different ways. While I still have some major concerns about how toxic Jamie and Elizabeth's fights can get, I know that if they can focus more on reassuring each other and being a team, they'll have everything they need to make this a lasting marriage. An assignment that I have for y'all is I would love for y'all to spend some time in 
childhood home, give each other a glimpse of who you are. Y'all just now kind of met. And so to not have the history is a piece that's really missing and it can help you to feel even more close and bonded and even more invested. Right now in this moment, I feel a little bit more at ease and I feel like we're gonna get things back on track. Thank you again for coming. The common theme between Beth and I, we both need reassurance and it's because of our insecurities. And so I guess the question is, is can we get to the other side of this and forgive each other? And I can definitely tell her energy level is much different and that's a good sign. Group hug. Sorry, I was so mean to you. Thank you, that means a lot. I cannot believe that it was literally eight weeks ago that I got married, and now I have to decide today if I want to stay married. I always kind of had this idea that I would meet somebody that I just kind of naturally vibe with, and it would just work, and that's not the case. I've had like a long night to reflect on things that happened in the past eight weeks the crazy things that we've said to each other and the arguments we've had. I don't know if I can find peace living with Jamie. Beth is one of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. We have a great connection. We have good chemistry. Damn, oh, babe. I find my wife crazy sexy. Mm -hmm. Couples who face masks together <laughs> stay together. I love you. Love you too. I think you're really cool. Thanks for that. I'm really excited to be too. The last eight weeks have definitely, it's had its ups and downs. One minute, we're all rainbows and butterflies, and the next minute, all hell is broke loose in our house. When I try to be intimate with you, there's a lot of excuses that come up. Are you like a sexaholic? You just like do basic, like Caucasian sex. Just forget this. I'm not putting up this. Okay, you're gonna ruin every. Oh, it was okay. Then Your why mom? did anyone take up for me, Jamie? Then why didn't anybody take up for me then? My husband says he wants a divorce today. Do you want a divorce? Do you really want a divorce? He called me a materialistic. Alright, I'm good luck. Just trying to figure out if that's the way that I want to live the rest of my life or is this something that we're going to improve together. So I'm just still really conflicted. We definitely have some unanswered questions, and that's hard. But Beth and I are in love. We tell each other that frequently. My views on marriage is like, you should get married once, and it should be the one. I didn't come into this marriage thinking that divorce is an option. Yeah, I'm still on the fence, and I'm just trying to figure out what's best for me and what's best for my life right now. This is definitely the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. Oh, yeah. Wow, Jamie, it's good to see you, man. It's good to be here. It's been a ride. Well, hello. Come join us. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. So, it is decision day. It's been eight weeks of trials and tribulations and triumphs. So how are you feeling today? Um, um, I think, you know, everything we've been through, we've learned lessons from. And I feel like we've grown personally. I feel like our marriage has grown, but I hopefully that we're learning how to be better in a relationship and be better versions of herself. Um. Um. It's definitely been a challenge. I thought marriage was just like friendships, some most of the time just smooth sailing, you know, not a lot of conflicts. And come to find out, marriage is a little bit deeper than just a friendship. I've had to work on myself a lot in this eight weeks, and that comes a lot with fear. So it's been really, really hard. All three of us have seen you guys get so angry, flee the coop, 
give disastrous, that's it kind of messages, and yet you've rebounded. That's hard to do. I mean, it's that one thing that you can't really put your finger on, it's chemistry. And when we're not in the trenches fighting it out, like we actually have a really good time. We do butt heads, but just because they're bad moments doesn't mean that I can't move past them. Jamie's not waking up in the morning wanting to ruin my day. Jamie's waking up in the morning wanting to make my day better. It's just us butting heads on how he's trying to do that. A while ago, we talked about not leaving the household. And I know you tried. So tell me, A, is that something that you feel is useful to your marriage? And B, why you felt you had to go? It really hurts my feelings when Jamie lashes out at me and when he leaves. I didn't really want to leave. I didn't feel like that was the right thing to do, but I didn't know what to do. Things had just gotten really toxic. Oh, because he doesn't think that we seem to be having enough sex. Are you happy with where you guys are sexually? I don't love the sexual relationship that we have. It's been a lot of push and pull, and a lot of times I get rejected, which in turn leaves me feeling hurt and like I'm not good enough or there's something wrong with me. It's really been nothing but a contention point for us both over the last eight weeks. There are clearly other ways to connect other than just sex. But se sex is a big part of it to me. Jamie and Elizabeth, now is the time for you to decide. Do you want to stay married? Or do you want to get a divorce? <sighs> Jamie, I think that there are a lot of things that motivate me to say yes, such as you're super supportive and you have great conversation and we have so much in common. I think that there is a lot for us to grow together in this world and I think we have a lot of really positive things to bring to each other's life, but... You've done some pretty effed up things and you've called me some pretty choice words. I think that I would be really, really crazy if I didn't stay with you. So I want to stay in this marriage. Well, the time has come, Jamie, for you to make a decision. Do you want to stay married to Elizabeth? Or do you want to get a divorce? It's definitely been a lot. Uh, we've had a roller coaster, and it's like I didn't know like what was going to happen from one second to the next. But I think that there's been so much good that it's helped me overcome the bad. And I see two people who love each other, but just sometimes don't know how to love each other or love each other in the right way. I don't want this like roller coaster of really highs where everything is really, really good. And then like down here in the bottom where we're questioning the marriage. I just think that there's, there's too much good, there's too much positivity, there's, there's too much to throw away. And so, my answer is yes, I want to stay married. Congratulations! That's amazing! Congratulations! Congratulations! That's so cool! Oh my god, this is my husband! Oh my god, this is so crazy! <laughs> does this feel like you're really a husband and wife now? It kind of does, because like as so. soon as we leave here, like we have to go be normal. Mm -hmm. Earl. It, 
It's going to be a different ball game. I mean, yeah. after the experiment's over, is that that's when marriage really starts. We've tried to give you the tools you need, and now, come tomorrow, you two are on your own. Okay, it's time to celebrate. Let's break out the bubbly. Yes! yes. yes. Oh my gosh! No, we don't. If I've learned anything about couples, it's that they make their own rules. And Jamie and Elizabeth are no exception. They really seem to have harnessed that passion between them and appreciate it. But I'm hoping that they'll keep the toxicity at bay and have the good vibes between them really flourish. Eight weeks ago, I married a total stranger. And today, I have a forever husband. And I think Jamie is absolutely crazy, but he's my kind of crazy. So here's to the first day of your agreement to stay married. And may we celebrate this with you every decade. Oh my gosh, oh my so awesome. Cheers. Cheers. I got married at first sight to fall in love. And Beth is just the love of my life. I am really excited for the future. I think that Beth and I have a lot of potential to have a great marriage. You guys have an awesome future. You really Thank do. Thank you. While decision day might seem to be the end, it's really just the beginning for these new couples. With no cameras and no experts, Deanna and Greg and Elizabeth and Jamie will be on their own to make their dreams of forever a reality. Now you're going to go do what married people do. <laughs> <laughs>